I'm Jill Foster here with tips and techniques using Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products. And today I'll be featuring one of our mediums. I'll be using gel medium to do a fun ghost stamping technique. And here's a look at this technique, um, a finished card and a tag that we'll be creating today. So to begin, I'm using a penny black stamp. I really like using these brush stroke stamps because there's a lot of solid area, which works well for this technique. And I'm going to take my gel medium, and I'm actually going to just paint this right onto my stamp. And I found that a little bit larger brush works well because you want to be sure that the gel medium does not dry on your stamp before you do the stamping. So I'm just quickly painting that on, and then I'm stamping this onto watercolor paper. I wanted something that was nice and sturdy um, when I added all my gelatos that it would hold up to all of the color and blending. So you want to be sure after you stamp that you really clean your stamp well. Now I'm going to stamp this again, but even so I still cleaned it in between each stamping because I did not want any of that gel medium to dry onto my stamp. So again I'm just painting the gel medium on directly onto the stamp. And then I'm going to stamp this quickly onto my paper up in the other corner. So I just turn that around and then I'm stamping again. And then I'll clean off my stamp. I actually just ran mine under a little bit of water and dried it off right away. Now I'm adding some color using my double scoop gelatos. I really like this large size of the barrel with a double scoop gelato um, because it's really nice when you're working on a full size card like this. So I first added green tea and I'm blending it with my fingertip. Next I'm going to add bubble gum and just continue to blend with my fingertip. You'll start to see the really faint ghost stamping that we did with the gel medium and that's going to resist the gelato color but not too, not quite as strong as like if you embossed and then you added the gelatos on top. So that's what I really love about using the gel medium. It gives you this really soft, faint color in the background. So if you take a baby wipe, you can really see um, where that resist happens, but it also will pull up some of your gelato color. So I'm gonna go back and darken up my gelato color because I wanted the background to be nice and strong. So adding some mango, green tea, and then the bubble gum again. And I'm just blending it with my fingers. I added a little bit of guava there and then went back and darkened it up with more of the bubble gum. And all of these double scoop gelato colors, they really work well together. Now this time instead of using a baby wipe, I'm just using a dry paper towel and buffing off some of that gelato color and you'll really see, start to see that ghost stamping come through. It's so pretty. Now I also wanted to do another little tag. So I'm gonna follow the same technique as I did in the beginning. So I'm quickly painting on the gel medium onto my stamp. Using a large brush makes that easy to quickly apply it to the stamp. Again, I've chosen a penny black brush stroke stamp because I wanted a stamp that had a lot of solid parts to the image. An outline stamp, this technique would not be quite as pretty with an outline stamp. So once that dried, I'm going to add more double scoop gelato. So this is red cherry and then mango. And I'm just blending as I go and you can start to see those flowers showing through. And then I'll also add some lemon. And I'll take that dry paper towel and just buff right over the top. Now if you want to have your ghost stamping show up just a little bit more and this is totally an optional step. I just wanted it to pop a little bit more. I'm using a very small brush, dry brush, and using a little bit of gesso to paint over that image. I'm not painting it in completely solid. You can really see the brush strokes um, when I apply the paint on there. But once that dries, that combined with the gel medium and the gelatos it just really makes that ghost stamping pop a little bit more. And it gives it a nice uh, painterly look 
that uh, real artsy sort of look because you do see a little bit of your brush stroke. You'll see there on this lard, large part of the flower, I'm not trying to fill in the whole flower. I'm just getting a little bit there down at the base of the flower. And then I'll even blend it with my fingertip. And I'll continue to do that on the other flowers that I stamped. And there you can see that finished look with your ghost stamping with gel medium and then a bit of gelato on top as well as some gesso. Finish them off, I simply cut it in a tag shape, add in some ribbon and twine, and on the card I mounted it to a note card and added just a sentiment and some pearls. Thanks so much for watching. For more ideas and inspiration, visit the Design Memory Craft blog, and I will link that directly below, as well as have a complete listing of the supplies used.